Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, now let's have a look at several meter in the line that will be LIS 3 DHDR. And to gain more knowledge about the sensor, let's have a look over the website that will be controleverything.com. And here we have to search on for this particular sensor. And let's see what we got here. As you can see on my screen, it's a 3 axis accelerometer and it's uh, uh, also some more features are on to the screen which you are able to see on my screen and also uh, you can add to cart it means you can purchase the sensor from this website furthermore i will be interfacing the accelerometer lis3 dsdr with a vehicle mode black and the software platform i will be using will be a c language code and to get your hands on the code let's go to resource tab and here we are with a c code sample you can click on the c code sample and you can download the code as a zip file right from here also you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there will be control everything community now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up and let's proceed well for the hardware connection setup the first thing we require is the bigger bone black which you are able to see on my screen and this here is an i2c shield for the bigger bone black now this is available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections easier with other i2c devices so for that what we require is to gently place this i2c shield over the bigger bone black and make a connection just like that for the power up setup we require two things the first is a mini usb cable just like this and gently insert it over here it is very useful to power up the bigger one black. Now to power up the I2C shield we require a 5 volt adapter which you are able to see on my screen and gently insert it in here. Now for an option for the internet connection there are two mediums. The first is an ethernet cable or LAN cable and the second is this a wireless nano USB adapter. Now we need our digital accelerometer LIS 3DSTR and this here is a connecting cable. Now make the connection among the cable and the sensor and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the ground wire of the cable and similarly to the ground of I2C shield. As we are done with the hardware connections, let's proceed and see ourselves with the code. Now for the interfacing purpose, first of all we need to log in to github.com and here we have to search on for the repository that will be control everything community and thereafter we have the sensor that will be LIS 3 DHDR and this comes with our C code but before that let's go to the instructions part as you can see and here we have to set up the beagle mode black first of all and the steps are on beagle mode dot watch let me open up for you and as you can see we have a lot of steps to be taken like installing uh, some of the drivers here which need to be taken carefully and after getting this installation done we need to download or the code onto the BeagleBone Black and this command will compile and this will run the C code properly now get back to the C code and as you notice it's a .c extension file the first thing you will see into the code that we have included some of the header files here and in the void main function we have to check whether the I2C bus is going to open or not and the address of the device or the sensor connected is 0x18 now coming to the writing section part first of all we need to select uh, the control raised to 1 having address 0x20 and we are going to send a command for x, y and z axis enable power on mode data rate output to be 10 hertz which is 0x27 as you can see and after that we are going to select control raise to 4 having address x23 and we are going to send a command for full scale plus minus 2g range and continuous update that will be 0x00 and here we are with the command then we have a delay or sleep function going for one second and after that we are going to read six bytes of the data but before in this part we are going to read x axis lsb first as you can see on my screen one byte for that from the register 0x28 then msb for the x axis and similarly we have the data for y and z axis for the acceleration data after that we are going to convert the acceleration data for all three perpendicular axis and we have used a formula which we have seen in the data sheet for lis3 dhdr 
At the very end, we have the output data on the screen, which means the acceleration in all three perpendicular axes, x, y, and z onto the screen. So this is how the sensor responds. Now let's see how it works. Regarding the working part, uh, first step is to copy the entire code as you can see on my screen. We have to copy the entire code, open up the terminal for the field one back and here we have to paste the entire code. Dot .c will be the file extension. And here we have to paste the entire code and after that we have to save it. Now for the compilation process, this is the command. And uh, let me type the full command. And we have this and when I run it, we have the code compiled successfully. Now for the working part, we have to run this command. This is to run the sensor code and we have the acceleration and x, y and z axis. When I again run it, there is not a much significant change, which means there is no motion at all. But when I try to move the sensor in different directions, you can see the acceleration x, y and z axis changes as per the movement of the sensor in different directions regarding the three perpendicular axis x, y and z. So this is how the sensor responds. Now let's have a look over the working. Uh, we have seen the working now. Uh, look over the applications and some of the benefits regarding this sensor. The LIS-3 DHDR is an ultra low power, high performance 3 axis linear accelerometer belonging to the nano family and with digital I2C SPI serial interface standard output. The device features ultra low power operational modes that allow advanced power saving and smart embedded functions. The sensor has dynamically user selectable full scales of plus minus 2, 4, 8, 16 G and it is capable of measuring accelerations with output data rates from 1 Hz to 5 kHz. Some of the applications regarding this sensor are motion activated functions, free fall detection, intelligent power saving for handheld devices, pedometer, display orientation, gaming and virtual reality input devices, vibration monitoring and compensation and a lot more. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks.